well a very good morning welcome back to the channel if you're new here do check out some of my other content well today I'm back over in Patong and we're going to be taking a look at a very good alternative to a Bangla Road I did cover Bangla Road a few weeks ago so go and check that out if you haven't seen it after this video but as you can see I'm standing outside the Grand Mercure and we're going to take a look at an area called Otop. Now this area offers a great choice whether it's shopping, food or even nightlife. So it's a very good alternative to Bangla Road, especially if you're in a family or couples and you don't want something so much in your face, then the Otop area is great. I have covered it in the evening time around the bars. So if you haven't seen that video, it's one of my older videos, go and search it out. I will try and put a link to it either on screen or in the description down below, because that will give you an idea of just how good Otop is in the evening. But today we're going to take a look at it around lunchtime. So it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. It is Thursday, the 19th of October. So let's go and explore and see what Otop can offer. As you can see, Otop just across the road there. It is a fairly big area, so we're gonna have a wander around. And it's a mixture really of shops, indoor areas of arcades. So I'm not gonna call it a, a market because it's not an indoor market as such. They're just a collection of vendors. There is a market here as well, food market, and there are plenty of restaurants as you can see in front of me already we have a restaurant so let's just go and have a, a quick dilly on the menu i'm not going to spend any time i just want to show you quickly an idea of price so i can see already 130 150 that sort of mark going up to 200 there depending on what you have quite a large restaurant but that's just one good morning that's what beautiful day and you can see the weather is really nice today it's actually not been too bad at all this week normally this time of year vegetarian festival good morning <laughs> so this time of year the vegetarian festival is on so if you're in Patong at the minute and you want to go and take a look at that, that's very interesting. I'm not really covering it this year because I've covered it over the last three or four years and I thought I'd take a break from it. I may do one or two of the parades, I'm not quite sure yet. But normally during this time of year it rains because it normally rains on the vegetarian festival. So this will give you an idea of what you can expect to see here. Lots of t-shirts and hats. Hats being, good morning. morning. And you've got these little places that you can go in and explore. Let me just take my sunglasses off because it's dark in here, or darker. Good morning, sorry cab. And good choice of bags as well. So if you're souvenir hunting, then this might be a good place to come and explore. Now I always say with Otop, it's a great place to come in the afternoon. And the reason why I say that is because you can first of all do a little bit of shopping, souvenir hunting. As you can see, lots of choice, lots and lots of choice, t-shirts, shorts, everything really. Yeah. And then once you've done your shopping, whatever that may be, you can then hunt out a nice little restaurant, have an evening meal. Good morning. Yes, will do. I'm going to wander around. I'm going to go in the next alleyway because there's even more shops in there. If you're looking for a suit, plenty of suit places around here. I'm expecting to get collared sooner or later by one of the suit people. I normally do. But yeah, you can grab something to eat early on, early evening, sort of five, six o'clock. And then once you've had a nice meal, tour information there, you can then make your way into the bar area. So lots of options here, and you don't have to leave the area because you've got so many options here. The only thing that Otop hasn't got is clubs. So if you're looking for nightclubs, then obviously Bangla Road is gonna be a better bet for you because Bangla Road does have 
quite a few nightclubs but here in Oton we have a lot of bars so and the bars whilst they do have the working girls in them not all of them do so they're a little bit more I'm not going to say totally family friendly but they are a little bit more family friendly than say Bangla Road and they're not as pushy in this area either so let me just good morning good morning sir how are you I'm good brother yeah and some nice t-shirts yeah i'm good yeah, some nice from? originally from the uk originally uk but frank i live here <laughs> oh you live here oh, <laughs> yeah. i live here now oh, you so live here? Five, five years five years already in, in patong or well not not patong shillong oh, Ni Chilong. yeah not it's too far life in Chilong? yeah not bad yes, not bad i can't complain yes bangla is the best life Yes. Uh, Bangla is the best life. Yes. Busy life. Busy life. Yeah. Yes. Right. Very busy. busy. Life. Best life in Bangla. Yeah. How much are your shirts? Shirt is four hundred baht. Four hundred yeah. baht for anyone. Anyone, sir. Yeah. Right, because I, I quite like the yes. the. This the, is a Thailand one, Thailand jersey. Yeah, yeah. The uh, Chang football. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, football yes. shirts. Nice, nice, very All nice. Right. I like that one. Yeah. That one. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Right. So you can see yourself. Lots of choice here. <laughs> Everybody, everybody wants to be on camera today. Yes. How are you? Good. Shopping. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking. Buy one get ten free. But buy. Did you hear that? Now she's saying buy one get ten free. So you come to the. What, what's your name? What's your Sophia? So come come here and see Sophia. Buy one shirt and you're going to get ten free. Don't blame me if you're inundated now. <laughs> you're going to be swamped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So, ladies, bags, great okay, choice of bags here. Yeah, Thai silk, yeah? Yeah, Thai silk, yeah, Thai silk. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, thank you. Place. Okay, lots of choice here, lots and lots. So I say the O-Top area is a great place to come, to be honest. I, I personally think O-Top is a lot better than Bangla Road. Bangla Road's... Hi. <laughs> Bangla Road's okay if you want to party, clubs, bars, that type of thing. But if you want something a little bit more relaxed, then this is a better area. I think I know this guy here. I've covered him before. Hello, Bob. How are you doing? Good, good. You're Mr. Smiley. Yeah, Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy, that's it. I couldn't remember. I've seen you before. Yeah. Be before. Visit Mr. Happy's shop. He's always smiling and happy. So um, if you go and check out the video that I did that had this section at night time, you will see that guy there. So you can see at the moment, it's still lunchtime. The bars are not really open at the minute, but they will open up as the evening goes on. And this just gives you that nice relaxed feeling if you're coming in the afternoon, come and do a bit of shopping, have some food, and then work your way into the bar area, if you want to, of course, or you can just come and do some shopping around here. And the choice is massive. I do like that, that blue top. I do like that. I don't know where the guy is that owns it. Mm, that's quite nice. I haven't seen one quite the same as that. I've got a yellow one already, um, an orange. So, but I like the blue one. Excuse me, boss. How much for the blue Chang shirt? This one, 250. Okay. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I do like that one. Okay, thank you. Okay. I might come back in a bit and get that. Okay, thank you very much. But you can see yourself. What a choice. Just about everything. Hello. So if you're looking for t-shirts or bags, accessories. Yeah, everything really. Um, we've got, yeah. Yeah, you can okay. see this, this guy. This guy's trying to get me in. So let's go and have a wander. So you have got some great souvenirs, suitcases. Good evening. Uh, good. Good evening. Good afternoon. I think it's gone twelve o'clock now. So but yeah, I mean these are okay, usual. Like I'm just looking at the minute, just having a a wander and a look. So if you're looking for souvenirs. And you can see they've got a great choice. And this is a real maze here. Paintings on the... as well. These wall hangings, coverings. Really, really good. 
more and there's absolutely loads of these little pathways to explore so you can spend a good few few hours searching around here for something whatever that may be but I'm just taking my time today and having a really good look around and I've got to say a lot of the vendors are quite friendly here which is surprising because the ones in Bangla Road when I did that video a few weeks ago they didn't want me to film at all um, they didn't want me to film anything um, I realized that most of their goods that they were selling in that Bangla market are counterfeit and not originals um, maybe that was the reason I don't know but uh, definitely down here it seems a lot more friendlier Now if you don't know where Otop is, it's situated on Ratchetit Road, which I have covered, and just in front there is the Hard Rock Cafe. So that's the landmark you're looking for. It's gonna be, sorry cab, good afternoon. <laughs> People there. Some sunglasses here, more and more stalls down there. No video, okay. Most of the vendors here seem really friendly. That's the first one I've encountered where they don't want me to film. I don't know why that is, but there you go. So we've got Hooters just across the road there, Hard Rock Cafe, very easy to find this area. As I mentioned, there is a market as well here. Now it wasn't that big when I came the last time, but it looks like it has grown a little bit since then. And this looks all new because I don't remember it having a roof on it, unless they've moved the area but I don't think they have. So they've put a roof on it. Obviously, it's lunchtime. It's still a little bit early, so not that the stalls are not open. This is obviously gonna be a lot busier in the evening time. A great place to come late afternoon, as I say. Shopping, food, few beers, great place. You can see the choice, stall after stall. And of course, you can haggle with these guys as well a little bit. Whether they'll come down to your price or not, I don't know, but it's worth giving it a shot. You've got nothing to lose. Now I am going to be doing a series or a mini series on the markets here in Phuket. I have mentioned it on a few videos in the past, but I'm yet to do it. But I've decided because when I talk about markets, I'm not talking about the tourist markets. I'm talking about the proper Thai markets that the Thai locals visit. And I want to cover those because a few people have asked me about these markets and how they can save money, I suppose. At the end of the day, this would be helpful for not only people that are visiting Phuket, but maybe staying here a little bit longer than just a two week or three week holiday, a month holiday, whatever it is. Maybe they're staying here for three months, six months, maybe even longer, even the expats. So I'm going to do a mini series on the actual Thai market. So keep your eyes open for that because I'm going to start that in the next few weeks. I was going to start it the other day, um, but Nat wasn't available to help me do some of the filming. So I've put it back a little bit, but that is coming very, very soon. It looks like these market stalls have expanded down there and also here near to the bar area this is the start of the bar area here so obviously at night time it's a lot busier and it looks like Otop is expanding because I can see a lot of building over there and again this looks some of it looks new since I last came so hopefully there's going to be even more choice here soon so let's have a wander around here there are a few shops suit shops and stalls and different things and come and explore yourselves but I want to have a good walk around this area of course we've got the Ashley Hotel Atong there that sits right well I, I suppose you'd say right in the middle of Otop not quite in the middle but it's uh, very close to the Otop area so if you're looking for accommodation that might be a good hotel to stay in because you literally come out of Ashley Hotel and you're into the bar area at the bottom so of course the bar area is quite quiet in the daytime there are a few bars open sort of lunchtime onwards but really this area is sort of the area that you want to be coming in after four o'clock or 
it may be even later than that and obviously this goes on to the wee small hours in the morning okay well let me know in the comments section and down below your thoughts on otop but i personally think this is a great area to come and explore as i say grab some food do yes it is how are you good nice to meet you following you have you yes okay excellent uh sorry but i don't know your name david david and chris chris nice to meet you from Australia, whereabouts? Yeah. South Australia. South Australia. Is it okay if I've got the camera yeah. on? I'm just doing the O top area. Yeah, yeah, so. that's okay. We're getting lost. We're walking around. We're working it out. Ah, okay. Uh, how long you been here? Two days. Two days. Two days. Yeah. First time. Yes. First time. Oh, how are you finding it? Good. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Really enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Very humid at this time yeah. of year. Yeah. So it's not just the heat. It's very it's sticky. sticky. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. good. That's Two good. days has been nice. Huh? Weather's picking up as well, so you might have timed it just right. That's good. We so have. yeah, have you been to the vegetarian festival in Phuket Town? That's on at the no. moment. Might be interesting for you to go and take yeah. a look if you've never. Well, if you've never experienced it, it's definitely an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will say that. Okay. Um, I have done some videos on it in the past, so I if you want to, yeah, 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 check those out. Yep. Um, some of the parades are absolutely crazy, and uh, yeah, yep. worth That's seeing. Um, but do wear eye protection and ear protection because there's a lot of fireworks going off oh, okay. so yep. just bear that in mind so <laughs> hi <laughs> all right very good okay you have a lovely very, very holiday yeah, nice how, job, how long are you, are you here for 10 days 10 yeah. days Ten okay days. so you've got eight days left we have we've got eight days left. okay well enjoy yourselves okay Thank you. Thank you. okay nice Thank to you have met you me. bye a few people there that uh, subscribe to my channel it's always nice to meet viewers in person so that was quite nice and there uh, looks like they're staying around this area I'm not quite sure but they're definitely exploring it as I say this is a really good area to explore less in your face Bangla Road can sometimes be a little bit too much of course if you're a single guy you're gonna love Bangla Road I don't dispute that but Otop also is worth checking out even if you're single you, you know you, you're looking for say some company for the evening otop is a great place to come plenty of bars plenty of ladies down there but not quite as pushy i don't think the, the ones in bangla can be a little bit too overpowering at times let me know your thoughts in the comment section anyway well i hope you've enjoyed this look around the otop area at around 12 o'clock midday so that gives you an idea it's not too busy at the minute nice and easy to stroll around and have a look at the shops at your leisure and then take in some food and maybe drink later on and I guess that just leads me to say as always thank you for watching the video do remember to give it a like if you haven't already subscribed then please consider subscribing both to this channel and my second channel which is called bald and bored in Thailand all the content that I feature that's outside of Phuket take a look at that there's plenty of content on there and there's lots more coming and until next time you take care and I'll speak to you soon